Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're gonna check it out how to make this spinning text animation in After Effects. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Step one, select the type tool, click, type in whatever you want, scale it up, press the letter S to scale. And as you can see, the anchor point is right here. So I'm gonna reposition that. Make sure to activate the snapping option and select the pen behind. And let's select this anchor point and snap it right here at the bottom center. I'm gonna align it to the center and I'm gonna activate here the 3D options. If you don't see this option, you can toggle switch down here. So it is going to appear or disappear. And also make sure that your 3D settings are active. You can see the render right here is on Cinema 4D. You can click on and select the Cinema 4D. Let's go to the geometric settings. And we have here the extrusion depth. And first we're gonna go to the active camera. I'm gonna change it to custom U1. And here we're gonna increase the extrusion depth. I'm gonna go back to default, active camera. Right now it's not visible that much. I'm gonna right click, click on new camera. Click OK. And now we got some new options in here. You basically can spin it from the orbit and you also can reposition it with the track XY. I'm gonna put it some like this. I'm gonna go right click, click on new, select a light. We're gonna go with ambient light on 50%. Click OK. Right click, click on new, select light again. And we're gonna change it to point light 100%. Click OK. And you also can reposition the point light X, Y, Z, but make sure to rotate the text first. So I'm gonna select the orbit camera tool this time and you can rotate it however you want and you can select the point light and basically reposition it in a better spot. There you go. Now we're gonna animate this. Now I'm gonna collapse it, open up again. And we got here the animation text. We're gonna go on this. And as you can see here, we got the enable per character 3D. So this is gonna animate it separately. We're gonna go back to animate again, go to scale. Now we got some new options here. Go to add property rotation. Great, we got the XYZ rotation and the scale. I'm gonna decrease the scale to zero. And we're gonna go to a range selection of one and we're gonna activate the offset stopwatch. Now it's gonna be on minus 100. We're gonna go to two seconds plus 100. There you go. We're gonna go to the fourth second, minus 100 again so it can loop itself. And I'm gonna bring the work area end to the fourth seconds. Now we're gonna go down to the advanced settings here. And we have the shape square, select the ramp up. And now it should animate nicely. Now I'm gonna scroll down here. We got the XYZ and I'm gonna rotate the Y basically. And I'm gonna type in here one. And it looks something like this. So this is it, thanks for watching.